Okay again, so here is my setup. There are two boards of a driver for motor, which are called the DRV8305. These two boards. These two boards are connected to a board like this, which is C2000 Launchpad TMS 320F. 28069M board. What is special about this board is that it can control two motors uh, not exactly at the same time but uh, you can say at the same time because there is a MOOC to control each of the motors <coughs> and again it wasn't easy to set up everything and thanks to Chris from uh, Texas Instrument to help me to do uh, the job. So <clears throat> what I will show now is actually what are the most important things that I've done in order to make it work. So I did the following. First, using lab uh, 11D, which is to control two motors. Then I had to set up my uh, user motor parameters and in order to make it easy so uh, I suggest to use one of the TI setting and change it according to your motor this is described in uh, different labs how to do it but I am using uh, I'm using uh, this motor that is called Anaheim BLY something it doesn't matter what is matter is the parameter which is the motor type PM for BLDC number of poles these parameters are also important uh, because if they are not set correctly it will not work and also uh, use a motor max current and estimated frequency is also important so you have two files for each motor so one is user MTR on J1 and user MTR on J5 the name is because the connector on the border in the name of J1 and J5 uh, after you set this parameter of your motor you have to go to the main loop uh, in the Proj lab here in the Proj lab 11D okay you can open it and go directly to the main so what I did of course I need to change the code in order to work according my needs so I've added parameters and then I've defined a enable for both motor which are the flag enable sys for motor 1 and for motor 2 although I will uh, show it just in, with one motor but you can connect two motors and the identity of the motor also and then I'm going uh, to the main loop uh, the forever loop let's say for uh, this is uh, the actually the main loop where the motor works so here I have described a uh, two state according to my needs so one is spinning the motor up and increasing the PWM and the other one is decreasing the PWM so the motor will change direction we will see it uh, in a short and uh, these are the main changes after doing this of course you need to build the project and after you build it you go to debug and you can see how it is working the debug will upload it to flash or RAM okay so I am doing the uploading now okay and now I will press uh, the resume in order to run the code and 
let's watch the motor here okay so I'm pressing now and as we can see it start and increase in speed and it will soon decrease the speed and change direction so this is just for uh, seeing that it is working properly uh, the good thing is that you can control two motors and build like a, something like a car or Segway or whatever you want of course with additional a lot of code and again thanks to Chris from TI helped me uh, in all the cases that I was stuck uh, also in the debugger uh, you can watch uh, <coughs> at variables that uh, you input here we can see my variables are my speed, I've declared my speed, the change in the speed and another counter that every every uh, 5000 counts it will change my speed and when my speed uh, get to 1.5 or minus 1.5 it is changing the direction of the motor ok and this is all for now ok so let's see it again increasing and decreasing speed and changing direction this is three phase motor of original Segway I2 or X2. That's all and bye bye.